I grab Steve Simpson. He's director of legal studies at the Ayn Rand Institute because I'm really excited to promote his new book, Defending Free Speech. So give me the elevator speech. What's the book about? Uh, so simplest way to describe the book is that, or I'll, I'll capture it like this, free speech is under attack. If we don't defend this right, we're going to lose it. Um, let me elaborate on that a little bit. So, uh, I mean, it's, it's a collection of essays. It covers all kinds of aspects of free speech. But I think the best way to summarize it is to say that there are... Uh, really three segments of the population that are either opposed to free speech or are abandoning it. And uh, that should come as, a, as, a, as you know, horrible or, or, or news of great concern uh, to people. So uh, think about it like this. Government regularly attacks free speech. I mean, think of the campaign finance laws. Think of the investigations of ExxonMobil for dissenting on, on climate change. Um, there are all kinds of other examples of this. Intellectuals are abandoning the right. Uh, and, and sometimes outright attacking it, more often uh, just ignoring it. So they ignore uh, a lot of these attacks on free speech. They ignore the campaign finance laws. Um, when we see uh, attacks by um, Islamic totalitarians on free speech, what do you get from government? You get no defense of the victims, um, and you get appeasing of the attackers. That's a really significant uh, um, uh, issue. I think, uh, and, and is cause for great alarm. Finally, students. I mean, on, on campuses, college campuses, we could see students abandoning the right, opposing the right. Think of students as tomorrow's politicians, intellectuals, and judges. Uh, and um, uh, if they abandon free speech, there's no future for it at all. Yeah, so we wrote the book out at Ocon, right? Yeah. Everybody got a free copy. And it's a really good place to, to roll out a book on you know defending free speech because yeah. he said it's an important right. And if we don't have the right to speak our minds, we're done for. Right. So what was the reaction? Oh, uh, the reaction was good. I think not least because we gave free copies okay, to everybody. Well. So that I, think that, I think everybody liked that. But, um, but I was really pleased, actually. Uh, um, I, I mean, the reaction was really positive. I had a lot of people coming up to me. Uh, people wanted me to sign the book, which was awesome. Uh, one um, particular comment that I kept getting from people was that they liked how short it is, um, <laughs> which I was a little surprised by. But it actually makes sense. It's a simple, short book. It's a good sort of primer on the issue. Um, you can read it quickly and get a, get the you know a, a good uh, take on the issues. It's a good introduction to why uh, free speech is under attack and what people need to do about it to defend the right. And we, of course, have a very unique take on the issue, both substantively, philosophically. We we focus very much on the right. Uh, to think and the connection uh, between that and the right to free speech and, and, and freedom in general. But we also take on a range of issues that most people don't take on. So not only are we criticizing the Islamist attacks and what's happening on campus, but we also criticize campaign finance laws, rope in you know, the investigations of Exxon and, and uh, businesses. So uh, nobody defends this right the way we do. Yeah, as a scientist, the, the Exxon Mobil thing is yeah. really important to me. Yeah. So what's been the reaction since Ocon? Oh, it's, it's also been really great. I've gotten a lot of great feedback. A number of people have reviewed the book, which for a book like this, which is a collection of essays, and this short I didn't really expect a whole lot of reviews. Uh, somebody from the Students for Liberty reviewed it. Somebody uh, wrote a review in the uh, Objective Standard. A number of other people online have. So, uh, and we got, um, we got some support and endorsements from some real free speech heroes. Fleming Rose endorsed the book. Harvey Silverglate of the Foundation for Individual Rights and in Education did. Uh, so the response has been positive and it's really been great. So what can people do to defend free speech? Um, well, first thing you can do is buy the book and read it. Uh, <laughs> but seriously, I mean, read the book. It's, it's got important stuff in there. This is, uh, um, this is commentary that we've written over a decade um, that covers all aspects of the right. It's, you can buy the damn thing for what less than two cups of Starbucks coffee. So That's buy a copy of it, buy it for your friends. One thing that everybody should do, review it on Amazon. That's a huge issue. Um, it really has a big impact on, on, um, uh, you know, uh, on visibility for a book like this. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, read it, understand it, and, uh, and speak up. So what's next for you? What's next? Uh, I'm going to write another book, and right. uh, it's going to be on free speech as well. Uh, the way I've described it to people is same subject, more words. So it'll be thicker than this one, which is always a good thing. All right. Uh, but it'll actually cover the issues in depth, in particular the value of free speech and how to think about why free speech is such an important value. People don't really get that, and you see oftentimes... Uh, typically, free speech is defended kind of on the sticks and stones, will break my bones, but names will never hurt me, which is mm -hmm. true, right? It speech is true. doesn't hurt you, 
uh, per se, um, but we need to defend it in, in terms that are more than it doesn't hurt you. It like has to be, it helps thing. you. It's a yeah. positive thing. It's a good thing, and that's actually true. So the book will go into that, and it'll go into um, uh, the increasing attacks. I think that you can make a case that Americans, unfortunately, don't understand the right and just don't take it seriously anymore the way they used to. Uh, so I'm going to try to make that case and then uh, explain to people what's going on and why they need to really stand up for this or we're going to lose it. All right. Well, you can get the book on Amazon and uh, go out and order it. And I yeah. hope you enjoy it as much as I did. Cool. Thanks. Thanks.